like with Dave and Barbara, but we're not going on a hike today, we're going on a pub crawl. Pub crawl of Manchester. Probably for the last 15 years we've done, I don't know, 30 pub crawls in Manchester. So we just thought we'd put a few on video so to help people along with maybe their pub crawls. Anyway, we're doing pub crawl, our pub crawl number two, and we're starting at the Salisbury. So the actual starting place is Oxford Road Station, and then we're going to, you walk straight down a short little path, and you've got the Salisbury behind us. Great little pub, uh, great for a pint of Thigston's. Um, anything interesting to add about this pub, Barbara? It's, it goes back at least 150 years. Look at the old Manchester tiling on the outside and uh, the uh, wooden ornate furnishings inside. It looks slightly scruffy, but it's a really nice old boozer to go to. Yeah, I like this one. It's a good start. Yeah, um, convenient for everybody arriving yeah. by train. Yep, yeah. and it's named after the Marquis of Salisbury. Anyway, should we... Prime Minister. Was he? Okay, let's go to pub number two and we're off. Bye. distance from the Salisbury to the Lassa Gowrie. This is a fantastic pub, still in Little Island as it used to be called many many years ago. If you look at this place it just looks sensational and it is lovely inside, cascades etc etc and a beer garden Barbara probably going to talk the, about. The beer garden overhanging the river Medlock, slightly scary I would think. Yeah. If you know the uh, Victorian brown tiling on the outside, um, it's a beautiful pub inside, it's a nice bar, nice ales check out the toilets in here. Yeah, we need to do that. Um, this place used to have quite a frontage near the BBC. That's all now high rise now. So it's a little gem in the middle of a lot of building work. Anyway, we're going to move on to pub number three. Bye bye. we've come to O'Shea's pub number three um, it's not a genuine Irish bar but it's a retro Irish bar opened in 1994 by Jack Charlton the former Republic of Ireland manager and Bobby Charlton's brother uh, anything to add Barbara on the actual inside and um, the beers? yeah it's, it's sort of done out inside to look like an old Irish bar and um, they've sold two million pints of Guinness and still counting since it opened if you fancy Guinness Irish ales lots of Irish whiskies on uh, lots of Irish gins, it's the place for you. Yeah, it's just a bit different. We're still actually in the old Irish quarter from many, many, many years ago. Yeah, but, but um, yeah, it's not a traditional Manchester boozer. No. Okay, let's head on to number four. Okay. number four and it's called the old monkey um, it's a local brewer Holtz and it was built in 1993 we think it's new but it replaced an old pub called the Queens, Queens. Um, Joseph uh, Holtz beer if anybody knows is very very cheap probably the cheapest in Manchester you should get a really good pint here one other thing is you can buy a pint in miles so uh, we've got a friend called Jeremy I think he probably would like this anything to add on this one um, no, it's just a nice, it's on two storeys, cheap ales, yeah. uh, good food as well, and sit by the window, yeah. see what's happening outside. You it's quite a busy road junction as usual. Busy road junction, but the pub usually isn't too busy if you're early. Okay, well, we're going to roll on to pub number five. Right. Very close to this one. It is, bye. short distance probably about 30 20, 10 meters I'd say from the old monkey and we've come to the, the circus the circus tavern uh, which is a great slogan outside the smallest bar in Europe the biggest welcome in the world um, it's just got a little tiny bar only one person can go to the bar at any one point um, original building is from 1740 the, no, 1790, so the actual, it's only been a pub since 1840. So it's correctly. still pretty old. Pretty, very, very old. Um, it's Tetley's, so the beer's good. Uh, Waitress service. Waitress service, is it? 
Okay, and uh, it's got lots of Man United memorabilia uh, and George Best used to go in here as well. Anything else to add on the name maybe, Barbara? The name. So it was called the Circus, so from 1790 onwards, that a group of circus performers used to practice here. Um, and they went from uh, Liverpool to Dublin on the boat. Unfortunately, the boat sank, all on board uh, drowned, except for Mr Hardy, who owned the circus, who was catching a boat later. Um, he was the fortunate one. And that's why it's called the, the circus. circus. OK, good information there, Barbara. Very right. nice. Very, very small yeah, pub. Yeah. Unique, I would say. Yeah, you can't go there too late or you're going to get, uh, well, it's going to be a squash. Yeah. Right, we're going to move on now the bus has blocked our view. So let's move on to number six, I think. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, pub number seven, we're at the, the, the Seven Oaks and we're just in Manchester's Chinatown. You might have seen the, uh, the arch as we move. pub number seven and it's the City Arms. Uh, it's a proper little uh, traditional um, Manchester pub. Um, I can't think anything to say about it. Oh yeah, it's an old uh, 18th century um, townhouse. Georgian townhouse I guess. Is it Georgian? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some nice old photographs in and lots of pretty tiling on the corridor leading down to the toilets. It's one of three pubs in a row so you can always take your choice if one of them's too busy. Yeah. Have another beer in, in the next it's one. It's normally always in the good beer guide as well, but yeah, yeah I really it's got like lots this, of good ales yeah. on. Okay, we're going to move on to yeah, pub the number pub next door. the pub next door, which is pub number um, eight. Eight. Very short distance, in fact, it's Next no distance <laughs> to the vine. This is a, a lovely pub. Just check out the, the green tiles on the outside. Um, again, 18th century townhouse, we think. And the good thing about this place, it looks small on the front. It's actually got another level there, or, over there, which is an old warehouse. So it's on three levels all together. Um, great whiskies, anything to add on this one, Barbara? No, but, but make sure you visit these yeah. proper old Manchester pubs. It's yeah. so worthwhile. Yeah, on a sunny day, you need a lot of people in these pubs. It's very good. Yeah, I love that down here. Spill out onto the front. Yeah, so. yeah you'll yeah. have a good time. Make sure you visit. OK, we're going to move on to pub number nine. on to pub number nine and the quote is to drink or not to drink that is the question yes it's called the Shakespeare and we're on pub number nine so I think we are probably drinking on a normal pub call oh, this has got some amazing history the actual pub comes from the 1600s but not here it used to be called the shambles pub and it used to be in Chester it was actually only moved here in 1929, so 90 years ago. But it is a fantastic place, just check it out. Check those flowers out. Check that Tudor. Mm. Anything to add bad on this one? Um, it's meant to be haunted, so yes. ho hopefully you won't see the ghost of the young girl. Um, it's just a sort of big unit inside with a wooden floor, just all on the uh, If you're getting a bit bored of the... Uh, by now. Yeah. You can always visit the Arndale Centre instead. <laughs> you uh, could do. You could just do. The this is quite a good joining pub because it joins a kind of a town hall section over towards more over towards the, uh, northern, quarter. the northern quarter. Yeah. So we're heading that way now. Okay, should we go? Past the Arndale Centre. Past the Arndale. Bye bye. Pub number 10 now and it's the English Lounge. Actually one of my favourites. Um, 
on the sign it says established 1885 so it's 135 years old uh, i think that the building is 135 years old but we could probably get yeah. a check yeah yeah okay. um big inside lots of beers uh, just a good place to be on pub number 11. Okay. Pub number 10 anything to add about it's just yeah it's just nice lot, there's always lots of seating available yeah. um a lot of ales wine a lot of wine and yeah. some nice food as well yeah it's got so. some mosaic it's, it's nice inside there it you'll, is, you'll, yeah. you'll really just like it just one big room with yeah. some fillers but, okay we're gonna yeah. move on to pub number yeah. 11 right and we're off We made it to pub at number 11 and it's a unicorn hotel um, from 1924. 1924, so 95 years old, quite amazing, or 96 years old, quite amazing. Um, this is, I've had to say one pub on this whole trip, it's a local pub, it's this one, it has all sorts of things in. Um, it's at the end of the crawl and we arrive quite late and sometimes there's a band on, sometimes there's a disco on, you, or maybe karaoke, you just don't know in this place. It's uh, it's it's unique, I would say. Anything to add on it, Barbara, on its interior or anything? It's, it's got a large central bar and chairs around the outside. Just a couple of snug rooms at the back. Um, pictures of naval battles on the walls. I did notice there was an offer off for Chapman Week. Two pints for two pounds fifty. Yeah. <laughs> to number 12 hopefully you're all in one piece and this is i suppose the legend that is mother max uh, established 1870 not i don't think it was mother max then it's only recently become mother max not sure. named after the very famous landlady who yeah. used to run it in the we're not quite sure but it certainly wasn't the original name um it has some interesting characters inside this pub if you if you uh dare to if come you, in it you dare to go in it uh, we've been here on many occasions, never had any problems. Um, okay. it's, certainly, it's certainly interesting, isn't it? And it is, it is one that we normally come to before the end. The reason we come here is because just down the road is Piccadilly Station, so you can get back on at the station, catch your train back to wherever you came from. Uh, a cracking little call through, call through town. Anything to add, Barbara, on this one? A very sad incident occurred yes. here, June 1976. Um, there was a murders, arson attack. Read all about it either online or on our blog, or on the uh, the uh, n n uh, old newspapers that are on the walls in the pub. Yeah. Okay, and check us out for another pub crawl or a hike another day. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.